Good morning, you guys. Today is Tuesday and it is right around 1030 and we are headed on down to the local park. Um, it's the one next to City Hall and it's right next to our local library. And during the summer, they host like different summer events. Um, and I believe it's every Tuesday. So today they're having like a comedy show for kids. It's going to be outside. Um, and it's like the first like meeting of everybody together since all the COVID restrictions have been lifted. So the kids are excited. I'm excited to be outside. I do have to return a book at the library and then we will head home afterwards and get some lunch. Alright, it is 1.30 and we just got home. We walked home and it's super hot. So luckily it's pretty cool in here even though we don't have the ACs running. Anyways, we had a really good time at the park. They had like a comedy, like magic show. His name was Angel and he came in and it was seriously so fun. It lasted for a whole hour and then afterwards, um, there was a couple other moms and grandmas there with their kids and we just kind of met up with them and they were super friendly and their kids got along with my kids and so they played for a while and then the school actually brought some lunch so we ate lunch at the park. So I think I've mentioned it here before on the channel that we are taking part of the summer reading program. It's for children and adults. I'm signed up to do it as well. And there's actually a lot of prizes. So every week she draws some winners. The first week I was actually the adult winner and I won a $10 gift card to a used bookstore here in town. Well, one town over. And then um, a $10 gift card to a local coffee shop here in town. So that was really exciting. And then every week that the kids log, we just use the app version. Um, it doesn't matter how many minutes, as long as they log one session of reading, they get to go pick a pack of Pokemon cards. And then I can't remember how many minutes Sarah said it was, but once you reach a certain amount of minutes, you can come in once a week and pick a prize. And all of these prizes were donated by local people in the community. Um, and honestly, when I saw it, I was super surprised at what some of the prizes were. So let me show you what the kids picked out. So Sarah, the librarian, came out with these boxes that were labeled Barbies 91, 92, 93. So these came out right around the time that I was born or a young toddler. <laughs> And they're brand new. They've never been opened, but they're almost 30 years old. And yeah, um, she said that somebody here in the community was a Barbie collector and they had all these brand new Barbies and they decided to donate them to the library as prizes. And so, yeah, this is what Oakley picked. She picked the Barbie skating rink and then she picked the Barbie lifeguard stand. And so after quite time, we're going to set the pool up and she's going to play with this Barbie stand in the pool. And here are the Pokemon cards that they picked. Um, these are technically used cards. She got them. She told me, I can't remember where, but she bought them from somebody. And, you know, pop Pokemon cards are super popular right now. So a pack is just one of these sleeves with two cards in it. So the kids each got to pick two packs. And so I honestly don't know if they have these ones. In their collection yet or not i know that they have this one so michael will help them put this in the right spot in their binders okay everybody had quiet time they're up i don't think you guys slept right no no they played the whole time but it is pretty warm out so we're gonna set the kitty pool up out over or under the patio um, in the backyard and the kids are gonna play with their new barbies
All right, so while the kids are in the backyard playing in the pool, I need to get some weeding done and some watering done. Um, I water like every two to three days, depending on the temperature, and everything needs a good watering right now. So um, while they're out here, I'm gonna get that done. And after that, I'm going to work on some chores that need to be done inside. Everybody is hungry. I'm starving. The kids are starving. They haven't really eaten a whole lot today and we've spent a lot of time outside. Um, and for dinner tonight, we're going to do like the easiest dinner ever. We're going to make quesadillas. Um, the meat's already cooked. I actually pulled it out of the freezer this morning and it's like a taco chicken with beans in it. Um, I think I actually made it. I have a video of me making it. Anyways, so we're going to have that. We're going to have quesadillas and then I'm going to cut up a watermelon and that's really it for dinner. It's going to be like 15 minutes and it will be done. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, after dinner, um, once Michael gets off work, he's going to swing by and pick us up. And then we're going to head back down to Blackwell Park and pick it up. Um, we had another really nice weather weekend. Yeah, what do you want to say? We're get, and then we're going to get ice cream. And then we're going to get ice cream. That's the rules. If they do a good job helping us pick up the park we will have ice cream. So I bought some ice cream on sale last week, I think. And so you guys will either have Tillamook mudslide or chocolate chip mint. Can we have a little bit of both? You can have one little scoop of each, yes. So anyways, we're gonna go to the park once Michael's off and clean up. Like I was saying, there was some really nice weather this last. Uh. Did you just touch your eyeball? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Were you trying to show off? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, now I don't remember where I was at. But yes, we're going to clean up the park. But first, we got to eat dinner. So I will go into the kitchen and show you everything that I'm going to prep up. So this is the chicken that we're using for the quesadillas. Um, it's a chicken that I cooked in the Instant Pot with pinto beans, tomatoes, jalapenos, um, some chicken broth. So yeah, it's really good. I had froze it. I can't remember, a couple weeks ago. Um, and then um, Michael had sliced up some jalapenos for something and also diced up some jalapenos for something. So I'll add those to it. And then, yeah, just your regular um, quesadilla. What is the word? Fillings? Toppings? Okay, hold on. I'm sidetracked. Barrett wants me to show you something. We built this and I can stick on here. He built this. Uh-oh. And I can stick on the watermelon. What is it? Do you remember what it is? A bird feeder. A bird feeder. We put seed in there, but I think you're going to paint it first, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and then we'll hang it up. I... Oh, no. Okay, what was your question? I don't this. Yeah, but what did you want to do with it? You're going to paint it, right? Yeah. So he's going to paint it and we'll put seed in it and then we will hang it in our yard. Maybe in the apple tree. Ooh, apple tree. I yeah. love apples. So, yes. I think I was talking about food before that, but yeah, and then I'm just going to cut up this watermelon um, to go along the side of our quesadillas. Ready? Okay, dinner is done. This is how I liked my how I like my quesadilla served with lettuce, tomato, and sour cream. Barrett has his quesadilla over there. He's just eating it with sour cream. And he has some watermelon. And then Oakley likes her served the same way as mine. So Michael messaged me and asked if we could do 
the park on a different day. Um, he didn't say why, why, but I'm guessing it's because it was so stinking hot today and he's probably exhausted. So, um, we're going to do the park a different day. Plus I totally forgot that tomorrow we're getting our shed and we need to go prep. We've already prepped the ground, but we need to tamper the, um, gravel pad one more time and mark exactly where we want the shed. Um, so I kind of forgot we had that going on. And so it's probably best if we do the park either tomorrow or Thursday. So this is the pad for the shed. And we originally did have it all like padded down really smooth, um, but then they had to reschedule. And since then the dogs have kind of come in and tore things up. So what we're gonna do is tamper this back down and then weed whack along here so that they have plenty of room tomorrow when they're here to build. Alright, that is the end of the video for today. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week.